Five, a battle is brewing at the state capitol over so-called gay conversion therapy. For the fourth year in a row, an Arizona lawmaker is proposing that Arizona ban that practice for teens. But now another lawmaker has her own bill to make sure that conversion therapy never goes away. Team 12's Joe Dana has the latest on the debate at the Capitol today and the chances of either bill becoming law. Gay conversion therapy or reparative therapy is discredited by major mental health organizations. The idea is that someone can be changed from gay to straight through professional counseling. Supporters consider it a religious right. When Glenn Trosdale's then 14-year-old son told him he was attracted to boys, the Gilbert father did what many parents do. He sought spiritual guidance. A religious leader pointed us to a, a therapist who said he does reparative therapy. After years of that therapy, hope turned into frustration. It wasn't working. I started just Googling stuff. I learned more and more of the science. The other thing is that we started listening and hearing stories from other LGBT individuals. We came to the conclusion the gay kid we were raising was so awesome that it was fine. But damage was done. For lack of a better word, it ruined my life. His son, Justin, now 32 years old, says he's slowly building back his life from the trauma caused by more than a decade of conversion therapy. I have a good life now, and I'm glad I survived it, and there's a lot who haven't, and it has to stop. I kind of concluded this is the biggest regret of my life. The Trosdale story isn't unique. A national survey last year found suicide rates doubled among gay and lesbian youth undergoing conversion therapy. It's, it's extremely harmful. We've lost a lot of young people. One reason why Democrat State Senator Sean Bowie is pushing a bill declaring the practice unprofessional conduct for children under 18. The ban does not apply to religious counselors. It's called a therapy, but it's important to point out there's... There's no major medical group that supports this. 20 states and Arizona's Pima County already have some form of a ban against reparative therapy. Now, a dueling bill from Republicans sponsored by State Senator Vince Leach prevents such a ban if a professional counselor is acting in accordance to their conscience or religious belief. Elena Joy Thurston of the Pride and Joy Foundation is lobbying against the proposal. I'm a capitalist to the nth degree. I'm all about you being able to earn your money with your expertise. That's awesome not at the expense of children's lives. We have not heard back from Senator Leach about his bill. We did hear from the socially conservative Center for Arizona Policy. They tell us the government should not be telling individuals what kind of therapy they should receive, nor the therapist what he or she can talk about. Another part of the statement reads, the claims against conversion therapy focus on tactics not used widely in decades. The counseling pertinent to SB 1482 is strictly talk therapy. Both bills are still at the committee levels at the legislature. Joe Dana, 12 News.